Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sport Horizon YouTube channel. I'm Jay, one of the data tutors and in today's Tableau for Sport tutorial I'm going to go over how to create percentage bar charts in Tableau. Percentage bar charts are a really easy way to showcase percentage values and they're incredibly simplistic to make as well. Within this tutorial I'm going to go over the mathematical concepts of percentages, how to calculate percentages in Tableau and how to create a percentage bar chart itself. So present on screen right now is an example of a percentage bar chart. In this case, it looks at the percentage of a goal scored from set pieces across Premier League teams. So I'm now going to get into the mathematical concepts. So the way in which percentages are essentially calculated is that it looks at the parts of subcategory value and its proportion to the whole, so the whole category that's essentially part of. This is then multiplied to 100. I'm now going to get into how to create a uh, how to calculate sorry a percentage in Tableau so what you want to do is you want to open a new sheet you want to go into the left hand section here onto data click on this upside down arrow I'm going to calculate it field as you can see on the left hand side of the screen I have two columns so I've set piece goals and I have total goals I want to look at the proportion of set piece goals in comparison to total goals so in this case set piece goals would actually be my part so I'll open a bracket I'll type in set pieces click on set pieces the division symbol i then go uh, and type in total goals as this is the whole that i'm looking at i'll then close the bracket uh, i'll then multiply this by 100 and that is the percentage uh, equation for set piece goals and total goals in this case it's always best practice as well to rename the calculated fields so in this case the percentage of set piece goals just like that click on apply and OK and essentially Tableau has now created another column now so we want to drag this now to the column section we want to drag team to the row section and we want to order this in a way which the highest value is actually at the top so if you go to this axis tile here click on this little button and it actually orders them we go to this top menu here go into entire view and now I'm um, just sort of now going to go into the steps to actually create the percentage bar chart now. So we want the remaining part of these bars. These only showcase a percentage of set piece goals. We want this to go all the way to 100%, which theoretically showcases the total number of goals. So we want to calculate another calculated field. And you just want to type in 100, as 100 is a maximum percent. So you want to rename this. We can just call it maximum. You want to click apply and OK. You want to drag this maximum now uh, to the column section right next to the percentage of set piece goals scored. You then want to right click on maximum and go to draw axis. What Tableau automatically does is, is that it actually creates uh, circles but we want bars so we go into the mark se section and click on bars. We now want to ensure that the potential of set piece goals and that that proportion of the bar is actually in front as currently the maximum is in front so you want to go on the percentage of set piece goals uh, and the axis title right click on it and go to move marks to front we now want to synchronize the axis too so you can click on maximum right click on synchronize axis and now it's much more clearer to see the percentage of set piece goals in comparison to their total goals i can make this a lot neater too so I can double click, uh, sorry, I can right click on maximum, go on to edit axis, go on to custom, and I can just make this 100. Uh, I, in fact, I'll make it 101, just to give it that little bit of breathing space. Uh, I now want to be in a position where I actually want to show the per the, val the percentage values. So I can go on to the, the percentage of set piece goals scored within the marks column, go on to labels, click on show mark labels. But I do also want these values to be whole numbers with the percentage symbol at the end of it so I can right click uh, anywhere on the screen and go on to format and then within this field section here I can click on this and go on the percentage of set piece goals scored I can then click on pane and go into numbers beneath default then click on the third option here in numbers custom I want to make this zero decimal places and I want the suffix to be a percentage symbol and just like that they're all now whole numbers and the percentage symbol now appears I don't need these axis labels either, so I can right click on those and untick show header, untick show header as well. I also want to make these team names centralized too. I can right click on format, go into this uh, second option here called alignment, then go into header and then click on this, uh, this center option here. And just like that, they're all now centralized. I also want to make this bold and black too. So the same thing, go into format, go into this te text or font option here. 
and then go on to worksheet, click on the black and click on bold. Uh, and I now want to be in a position where I want to change the color of these graphs. So if you go on to measure names here in this section, and if you just click on one of the color tabs, uh, I can then click on this too. And then I want to type in the hex code that I want. So in this case, the hex code that I want is 415A77. And then I can do the same thing for the percentage of set piece goal scored. So I want the uh, hex code to be uh, 778DA9. And it's always important as well to uh, ensure that the percentage of set piece goals or the part in this case is always of a lighter color just to ensure that it actually stands out and that it's actually quite easy to sort of view to. I then also want to add borders around these bars as well. So I can go on to color within all, go on to border and I want to make it, uh, I want to make it white or black. Actually, I'll make it black in this case. And, uh, for the sake of sort of visualization, I can right click on this now as I've already sorted out the colors and click on hide card. And obviously it's always good to change the name of the title too. So in this case, uh, the percentage of set piece goals, set piece, percent of set piece goals in comparison to total goals scored across Premier League clubs. It's really important that you have a really simplistic title just to showcase what the report is showing. Uh, that's incredibly uh, that's incredibly important. It's definitely something that I recommend you take great focus on. Uh, and obviously, I want to make this bold, and I want to centralise this as well. And I want to make it black too, so it um, matches the font of the uh, text of the graph itself. Align this. I can make it a bit bigger just to ensure it stands out. As this should be realistic, should be the first thing that the uh, reader of this report actually sees. And just like that, I've managed to add a title now as well. Um, I really hope uh, you've managed to learn something today. I think this graph looks really clean. It looks really neat. If you have, then definitely click uh, the like and subscribe button. Definitely check out our website too. Link to that would be in the description down below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.